The state is putting a pause on using the Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine. That's the recommendation from the FDA and CDC this morning. The agencies say there have been six reports nationwide of blood clots, all in women, happening six to 13 days after getting the one shot. Of those six patients, one died and another is in critical condition. There have been over se nearly 7 million Johnson & Johnson shots administered. Jen Boniza has more on the impacts this will have on our state's vaccination plan. Pharmacies like Long stopped administering the Johnson & Johnson vaccine just to be safe. Though the CDC's decision to stop the single-dose shot is concerning, especially for those who got it, health officials say there's no cause for alarm. Health officials are telling those who received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, don't panic. We understand that people uh, would be concerned. Um, the news is troubling. Again, it's very, very rare. According to the CDC, out of 6.8 million doses given in the U.S., only six cases of severe blood clots have been reported. So the blood clots that they're seeing relative to the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is a very serious and significant blood clot. It's, it's not subtle for the most part. Um, it's called cerebral venous sinus thrombosis. Concerning symptoms could arise up to three weeks after the shot, including severe headaches, abdominal pains, leg pain, and shortness of breath. We have not heard of any adverse reactions in Hawaii to date, and we certainly hope that we don't experience any. The Department of Health received nearly 48,000 doses of Johnson & Johnson. Nearly 18,000 were administered, not including shots given by the Federal Retail Pharmacy Program, the DOD, or the VA. Both CVS and Safeway received the vaccine via the Federal Retail Pharmacy Program. They say they are canceling all Johnson & Johnson appointments and allowing customers to reschedule for Pfizer and Moderna vaccines as they are available. The state health director says they still plan to open vaccinations up to everyone April 19th. So we're going to keep marching forward. Most of the vaccine that we're using out in our community pods and in the hospitals is Pfizer and Moderna anyway. So this will set us back a little bit, but not a lot. TAR SAYS THEY'LL HOLD ON TO THE 30,000 DOSES THEY STILL HAVE IN STOCK UNTIL THE CDC DECIDES WHAT TO DO. THE CDC IS ADVISING ANYONE WHO EXPERIENCES ADVERSE REACTIONS WITHIN THREE WEEKS OF GETTING THE JOHNSON & JOHNSON VACCINE TO CONTACT THEIR DOCTOR IMMEDIATELY. JEN BONIZA, KHON2 NEWS, WORKING FOR HAWAII.